Hello and welcome to this episode of Gadgets and Gizmo Show. I'm Siddharth Sharma and it's that time of the year where festivities are the order of the day. And we'll be helping you in making the right choice when it comes to buying gadgets and gizmos for your loved ones or just yourself. Let's have a look at the lineup for this weekend. We get you the best of the best gadgets for this festive season. and an exclusive review of the new iPhone 5S. Okay, on this show, we are joined by Dhruv Bhutani, editor of PhoneArena.com, Sahil Gupta, head online MyMobile.co.in, and our in-house expert, Nidhi Singhal, assistant editor, Gadgets and Gizmos magazine. Here are the top smartphones to buy this festive season. What everyone wants to buy is a shiny gadget this time around. So here's the list of the top pick among smartphones by us. First up is the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Note 3 runs on Android Jelly Bean operating system, sports a 5.7 inch Super AMOLED Full HD display and design wise is no different than any other Samsung smartphone. It is powered by a 1.9 GHz Exynos Octa-Core processor with 3 GB of RAM. At the back, Note 3 sports a 13 megapixel camera capable of doing HD video recording. And up front, you get a 2 megapixel camera. I'd go for this phone because it has a really interesting form factor where it integrates a huge screen in a very comfortably sized body. And it has a 5.7 inch Super AMOLED display and it has better build quality than Samsung's previous offerings. But Getting hold of this device in a single hand is a task. Onboard storage is 32 GB and the price tag is Rs 49,990. Next on the list is the BlackBerry Z10. Yes, not the latest Z30 but the older Z10. BlackBerry recently has slashed the prices of the Z10 to Rs 28,000. The new BlackBerry 10 OS is quite intuitive and has some very interesting features built in as well. Z10 has a 4.2 inch capacitive touchscreen up front and a decent 8 megapixel camera at the back. Z10 runs on BlackBerry 10 operating system and is powered by a 1.5 GHz dual core processor. Third on the list is the Sony Xperia Z1. The Sony Xperia Z1 sports a 5-inch TFT capacitive touchscreen display up front loaded with triluminous display and Sony's X-Reality engine. It's got some really good features, top-of-the-line specifications and of course Sony's brilliant industrial design. And it's powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 pro processor which is super fast. At the back, the phone features a 20.7 megapixel camera capable of shooting 1080p HD videos. It also has a front-facing 2 megapixel camera. The price on the Sony Xperia Z1 is 44,990 and Sony is throwing away some cool insurance schemes along with this phone. Next is the most popular sub 10,000 rupees smartphone in the market, the Nokia Lumia 510. This Windows smartphone is the best you can gift someone. Some websites are even selling it as low as Rs 6,209 and Nokia also has some pretty interesting offers going on right now in the market. As a little lower end, I would also recommend the Lumia 520 which is Nokia's best selling Windows Phone device. The Lumia 510 has a 4 inch TFT capacitive touchscreen, 800 MHz processor with 256 MB RAM and a 5 megapixel primary camera. And of course, there's no denying that if you really have that kind of money, iPhone 5S is the one to go for. I think that's the phone to get because of the new, very forward-looking Touch ID feature. And it's the one of the most powerful phones out there right now. Apple has also built in some very interesting video and photography related features. You get 120 frames per second slow motion video in 720p. So it has some very cool features that we've not seen on any other device so far. With a price tag of over rupees 50,000, this is the real bling when it comes to a smartphone. I will recommend you the iPhone 5S as my pick of the lot. 
and we'll tell you why also but that a little later on the show the other big ticket item these days is a tablet wondering which one to buy here are the best of the best tablets are the in thing these days especially when it comes to gifting to your near and dear ones it's the one thing you would not like to miss on The best tablet in India right now is undoubtedly Apple iPad. But what we like at gadgets and gizmos is the Apple iPad mini. It comes in both Wi-Fi and 3G variants and has a 7.9 inch LED backlit IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen up front. The primary camera on the iPad mini is a 5 megapixel capable of shooting HD videos. iPad mini runs on Apple's latest iOS 7 and is powered by dual core 1 gigahertz Cortex A9 processor. It's got some great hardware and iOS is still the best operating system out there for tablets in my opinion. Above all, you get a guarantee that the Apple hardware will last you for long. Prices start from 21,900 rupees for the 16 GB variant and goes up to 41,900 for the 64 GB one. Next on the tablet list is the Nexus 7. It boasts of a 7-inch LED backlit IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen up front and is powered by a quad-core 1.2 GHz Cortex A9 processor. The 7-inch tablet gets you the latest OS updates and a quality hardware. But if you don't like Android, then you have the iOS at your disposal. It runs on Android Jelly Bean operating system but rest assured with this tablet for operating system updates to land onto your device the fastest as Google loves its Nexus family though the new model is just around the corner but at 9999 it makes great economical sense to go for this one right away Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 is another tablet if you are an Android fan. With calling facility and Exynos 4212 1.5 GHz dual core processor, Tab 3 does not lack in power. It also got a 5 MP camera at the back capable of doing HD videos. And with the price as low as 16250 rupees on some online shops, it sure is a good deal to go for. You also have Samsung's TouchWiz interface with lots of Uh, gimmicky but cool features built in design wise it's very ergonomic and performance is more than adequate for any average user but if you're one of those who like bigger and meaner tablets sony xperia z tablet is the one to go for with waterproof and dust resistant capabilities this android tablet has it all it's got sony's brilliant industrial design top of the line specifications and some very interesting sony specific features that they've built in it's powered by the qualcomm snapdragon s4 processor and it just screams and it's waterproof also priced at 41500 rupees this beauty will not disappoint you at all ipad mini is definitely the one to go for this festive season but you know what Camera is one thing every tablet and smartphone has these days. It's good but not great. There's nothing like capturing memories from an actual camera. Our next list tells you all about picking the right one. Smartphones and tablets can do it all. But for everlasting memories there's nothing like a good old camera so we have it all figured out for you from point and shoot cameras to DSLRs First is the Sony CyberShot DSC RX100 This is the best you can get when it comes to getting a point and shoot camera The RX100 has a 20.2 megapixel Exmor R CMOS image sensor and is capable of full HD recording It also sports a 3-inch extra fine true black TFT LCD display. RX100 has a 35 mm equivalent and has a focal length of 30 108 mm. The Sony CyberShot DSC RX100 is priced at rupees 
but with the festive seasons you can get some goodies thrown in at this price Next up is the Canon 100D. This DSLR has a 18 megapixel CMOS sensor and at the back you get a 3 inch LCD display which also click pictures if you just tap on it. The 100D has it all and that too in a compact form factor. It is the smallest DSLR camera in the planet and it's basically Canon's 1100D but in a much more smaller compact package. Canon has reduced some weight on the DSLR and made it more portable. 100D also has a mono audio and HD recording capabilities, and you also get a mini HDMI output even though it has a compact size. Priced at rupees fifty-four thousand, this is one DSLR that does the job with style. Third on the list is the Sony DSC QX10 lens. Easily attached onto your smartphone via Bluetooth or NFC, this attachment transforms your smartphone into a real camera. I think it should let you do a lot of creative stuff in terms of photography. With an optical sensor resolution of 18 megapixels, 10x optical zoom, and maximum shutter speed of 1 by 1600 seconds, this contraption makes your smartphone works like a pro camera. Priced at rupees 16,000, this is a surefire on the list. And finally, if you are looking for a mid-end DSLR, Nikon D3200 is the one to go for. Priced at rupees thirty-three thousand with a standard eighteen fifty-five mm kit lens. Uh, if you want to investigate and improve your photography skills, I think it offers a very good balance between features and ease of use. Full HD recording, three-inch TFT LCD screen, and a CMOS sensor giving out twenty-four point two megapixels. You just can't go wrong with this one. My personal favorite from that list is the Canon hundred D. It's compact and it does a great job as a DSLR. Accessories and gaming is something that is really popular when it comes to gifting. So next up, we tell you what's hot in that space. Here's what you can go for when it comes to accessories and add-on tech this festive season. Best gaming console in the market is the PlayStation 3. PS3 gives you unmatched gaming experience with so many game titles under its belt, along with some exclusive ones. The PlayStation 3 is still the most value for money gaming console that you can get out there. Sure, the PS4 is right around the corner, but the PS3 gives you a very interesting media center experience as well as a gaming experience. PlayStation 3 is currently the best console in the world. It offers better memory, better library of exclusive titles. It's simply a better console than the Xbox 360. Of course, the new consoles are on their way, but uh, it doesn't seem likely that they'll launch in 2013. This city has a problem. Some freak who thinks he's a hero. Another game to buy this time around is Batman Arkham Origins. With enhanced gameplay and better-looking cutscenes, it's the best Batman game ever. It's an awesome new game. It adds better graphics, new gameplay dynamics, and Batman is meaner and leaner than ever in this game. It's a no-brainer if you're a Batman geek. For all Xbox lovers and PS3 lovers. Batman is back and with a bang and at 3000 rupees on the console and 1500 for the PC version you will love it forever If you're looking to gift someone earphones then the Bose Quiet Comfort 20i are the ones to go for with acoustic noise cancelling and in-ears that fit in perfectly these are the best in the business Quiet Comfort 20i awareness mode is also something very unique and innovative. They come at a price tag of twenty-five thousand rupees only. They'll definitely cut out all the firecrackers around you if you want to. If you want some peace of mind, 
uh, and the audio quality is definitely fantastic being Bose uh, headphones and all. Overhead headphones are also a popular choice and the ones that we are recommending are the Shunizer Momentum over-the-ear headset. With 200 megawatt of max power input and 18 ohm headset impedance, these are the best when it comes to pure sound. They'll attract audio files and they are pretty light and really nicely built. You get really nice leather ear cups. Overall, they are one of the best headphones out there. Now that we've told you what all you need to buy to make the right pick this festive season, it's time now for me to take a very small break on the show. But don't go anywhere because our trump card is still not out. iPhone 5S and its review. It's waiting for you on the other side. Welcome back, you're watching Gadgets and Gizmo show. Now this week, the new iPhones finally made it to India. So let's give you a quick recap on their specs and prices. They are finally here. Meet the iPhone 5C and iPhone 5S. iPhone 5C has a 4-inch widescreen multi-touch retina display and is powered by Apple's A6 chip. 5C features an 8 megapixel autofocus rear camera with LED flash capable of HD video recording. 5C runs on Apple's latest iOS 7 and will be available in a number of colors that include red, white, yellow, blue, and green. iPhone 5C is available for Rs 41,900 and Rs 53,500 for the 16GB and 32GB model. Now the real showstopper is the iPhone 5S. This also sports a 4-inch widescreen multi-touch retina display and the 5S is powered by next-generation A7 chip with 64-bit architecture and a M7 motion coprocessor. The smartphone also features an 8-megapixel autofocus rear camera with true tone flash that can record full high-definition videos at 30 frames per second. Apart from the usual silver and space grey colours, there is also a gold version of the iPhone 5S. A new feature addition in the form of fingerprint identity sensor known as Touch ID is something really to look forward to. The iPhone 5S is available for Rs 53,500 for the 16GB version, 62,500 for the 32GB variant and Rs 71,500 for the 64GB variant. Alright, now that we've told you what's the price on the new iPhones, it's time to give you a review of the all-new iPhone 5S. Sahil Gupta, online head, mymobile.co.in, gets you a first and exclusively on headlines today. Take it away, Sahil. So, I have the new iPhone 5S and here it is. This is the new Touch ID feature. Boom, my phone is unlocked. This is Apple's new latest feature and they're, they're really touting this feature with the iPhone 5S and the new camera is here, this is the new True Tone Flash and overall design wise it's more or less similar to the iPhone 5 but these are the basic new elements in the design performance wise internally it has the new A7 chipset Performance wise, for most people, you won't really see, discern a major difference in performance from the 5 or the 5S. But over time, as more applications are optimized for this phone, you will eventually see the difference. Over time, this phone is going to become better. The other thing is the new camera is much more better. They have not increased the megapixel count, but they've increased the size of the pixels in the camera so the low light performance is much better and the new true tone flash has two color shades so it matches according to the situation so you can actually use 
the flash for once in low light situations and not ruin your photos or overexpose them. When it comes down to the OS, as with all Apple products, it's running iOS 7. iOS 7 is Apple's latest operating system. It has received a major UI overall. On older devices like the iPhone 4 or 4S, the experience was a little choppy, but on the 5S, the experience is silky smooth. The difference between the 5 and the 5S is a lot of applications are actually not optimized for the 64-bit chipset. So some applications are actually crashing on the 5S and they don't crash on the 5. There are a lot of new software features that are exclusive to the 5S, such as slow motion uh, recording feature which is super cool. Additionally, the camera has got more features, there's a new burst shot mode. Just shoot away and you'll click multiple photos and the software is so intelligent, it'll automatically tell you which is the best photo. If you're talking about gaming, this phone is amazing. I've played games like Dead Trigger 2 and Infinity Blade 3 and the graphics are just stupendous. They're comparable to the PlayStation Vita, obviously these games are not available on the PlayStation Vita. The screen is more or less the same on the 5S but it's more than adequate for most people. It may not be 1080p, but at 4, 4 inches, 327 ppi is more than adequate. Probably the most hyped up feature for the iPhone 5S is the new Touch ID, which is basically this ring. So, if I turn on my phone, I don't need to insert my password, I can just put my thumb and boom, the phone is unlocked. Touch ID really works and it's kind of a very addictive feature, though a teensy bit gimmick. Battery life is slightly better from the previous model. Overall, I wouldn't call it exactly value for money considering this model is so expensive at 71,500 for the 64 GB one and 53,500 for the 16 GB model. But if you're still looking for the best, this is the phone to buy. And that is why iPhone 5S is my pick this festive season, especially the gold colored one. Now that's all the time we have for you on this edition of Gadgets and Gizmo Show. Tweet us your queries, comments and suggestions at HLTGNG Show. You can also email us on help double G at intoday.com. We'll see you same time, same place next week. And for all the news and updates, stay tuned to Headlines Today.